Welcome everyone to my Atlas Reactor Beginner Guide. My name is Jen Jen and I'll help you get into the game. Let's talk about a few beginner-friendly freelancers. I suggest Suki as your first firepower because she has dash that avoids traps, long distance damage and splash damage to get around corners and cover. An alternative would be Blackburn. He makes it really easy to target, is position forgiving and even guides you a little bit in your positioning. If you like frontliners, you should pick up Rask first. He is self-sustaining, highly mobile and if you screw up, very cooldown forgiving. If you want to lay your hands on a support, you should play Aurora. She is a good all-rounder, easy to understand and has generally high sustain. I strongly recommend learning the game's basics with these four characters before trying out any others. Let's have a quick look at the futures that I just mentioned. Rockin' the rocket! Zuki is known for her long range fire. That, when fired correctly, can result into beautiful splash damage. Her jump might be limited by her minimum range, but you still have a lot of options of where to go to. It is really strong not only because it deals damage to surrounding enemies, but also no matter how many walls, traps, lasers your enemies might surround you with, you avoid them all. Stopping them dead in their tracks. Blackburn makes targeting really easy. You can either hit multiple targets or just one target alone, either in a straight shot or in a cone damage zone. Sometimes you just are in a spot where you can't shoot people from. Then you have your grenade. You can throw it over walls and over cover. It hits multiple targets and results into nice splash damage. When in danger as Blackburn, you have your dash. It guides you in your positioning because it forces you to get next to or behind cover. From there on, you can still shoot the enemies just as you're used to from your primary. As a frontliner, you usually soak up a lot of damage. Rask comes with inbuilt self sustain. Sometimes, though, you end up in a spot you just don't want to be in. Rask's high mobility on his dash got you covered. With your dash ultimate combination, you want to hit your enemy as hard as even possible. But they get out. And instead you are the one in a bad spot. With the cooldown reset on your ultimate though, you have everything back that you need. Your knockback, your dash, your self sustain. Everything. Pretty neat. The Sting of Entropy in her way of dealing damage to the enemies and healing her allies, Aurora is rather simple to understand. As a good Aurora, Aurora has a debuff for the enemies and buffs for her allies in her kit. Her high sustain for herself or her allies can always come in handy. Once you get the hang of the game, you might snatch up a few more difficult freelancers. Go ahead and try Garrison, Titus, Fedra, Vryn, Asena, Gremolitions, Oz, El, Kaigen, Juno, Lockwood or Finn. There are freelancers that should be a no-go for beginners. They require superb positioning, wise skill choices and a lot of experience in the game for the right mods. Said freelancers are Rampart, Pop, Gray, Nyx, Celeste, Suren, Quark, Hideo, Hida, and Orion. 
Of course you can try them in bot games, but please restrain from bringing them into PvP if you don't want your games to end up in a mess for you and your team. The 3 C Keys to Victory As much as you feel that only damage numbers really count, they really do not. Atlas Reactor is mostly about resources and survival. In order to achieve exhausting your enemy's resources and making sure you are safe, there are three main keys to keep in mind. Cover, Cognition and Communication Standing behind cover means that shots from a specific direction only deal half the damage to you. Knowing the enemy's position in relation to yours gives you an idea of what they actually could use on you. Plus, you want to know where to aim, of course. So gain as much vision as possible with reveals and other tools and deny as much vision as possible at the same time. Targets with this icon will always be revealed, even when out of usual vision range, in a camouflage zone or stealth. Communication is important for your team to stick together. Watch your allies pathing and move as a team so you can help out each other. If you don't add enough damage on the target, it might slip away at the end of a turn. Ask your teammates to help you out when focusing an enemy. Talk to each other about ability combinations, such as area traps used together with movement denial skills. Let's get you into the game. First of all, there are some things to remember. Queuing a spill gives you experience, Pony. You should always be nice and polite. And don't be scared to ask for advice. We all know nobody is perfect. Various strategies have proven to be viable, and this is not a sad rule you always have to follow. Comfort goes up a meta, always. But with a standard team combination, you are always on the safe side. You want at max one sneaky firepower, one firepower a support can follow along, the support, and a frontliner. As we are getting to the end of this video, I shall just give you some general tips and tricks. Don't waste Catalyst dashes early. If you do, the enemies will pick on you for the rest of the game. Don't get bluffed on. The enemy you think will escape might not, and if you don't shoot them, they'll get away with no health. Don't predict shoot. You think an enemy will dash? You think you want to be smart? Then they don't dash, and you just waste your turn. Path safely. Try to avoid the middle to avoid traps, and move as if you were getting slowed, because you might as well be. Use camouflage zones wisely. They are a resource. Don't break them to give away your position. Only use them when you know you will have to. There is no reason for you to go in aggressively when you are already a few kills ahead. Play the runaway game to secure your advantage. Use Alt and Tab at any time of the game to check enemies abilities and their cooldowns. And last but not least, have fun! Thank you for watching my video guide. This one was brought to you by iTechBag and Love Bites. Ah.